Hi, it's Todd Gross, and welcome once again to Auto Video Creator, the demo series. We're showing what you can do with the software. In this demo, we're going to do a video for an offline business, a theoretical offline business, although I have to tell you, the script I borrowed from came from an actual script somebody gave me to do a voiceover for. Uh, the first thing to make things easy is to go to options and pick the actual size of the video background and what you want to do is set the size of your video first so here in this case we're choosing 640 by 480 but what's most important about that is that it's a 4 by 3 image the ratio is 4 by 3 so if we import any image at all with that same ratio guess what it's going to be just fine so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to insert okay we're going to go to insert a background and I'm going to pick another 4x3 image that I know is there and even though it says 960 by 720 that is 4x3 just larger so it scales down to 640 by 480 so it's not really complicated it's just a matter of the ratio alright so now I just clicked repeat background because as I add new slides we want that background to repeat you could stop this video and back up a little bit you'll see I clicked on the repeat background button Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm going to insert um, actual text, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm writing the text out. That's what I consider the easiest thing to do, even though you can cut and paste text or you could even try to import from Microsoft Word. Uh, I find it easiest to just type it. And the only reason this font is flashing at you right now is because I'm doing a screen capture video and it is flashing while I'm doing the screen capture. Now I'm highlighting the text, okay, and now I'm going to make it into an Arial Bold 48 font. And you can see it gets larger. And now I'm going to highlight it and, of course, center it. And now I have to bring it down a couple of notches to center it even better. And it's kind of washing out, so I'm going to change that to black. All right, so I'm going to actually highlight it and then go over to Bold to first make it you know more prominent now I'm picking the color black all right and that's going to make it stand out as you can see right here I don't want to forget to show you this recording your voice at the bottom you have a choice of the computer voice or a little off the screen there after I clicked on record there was another record option and I just press record then actually record my piece and then stop. And I could do it as many times as I want, the record and stop, until it's good, and then I'll press set, and then it'll be done. So that is my recording for the first slide. So now we can move to slide number two on that bottom left, those little arrows there. Uh, and at this time, I'm going to very quickly breeze through these, all right, because uh, I don't want to waste your time. We've already seen the elements of making a slide. Uh, again, I'm pressing record now that I've written out the script record and then stop and then I will be all done once I press set okay so that's the second slide I'm going to do a third slide and then I'm going to show you the last thing uh, again I quickly threw in the uh, font just now I made the video shorter so I wouldn't waste your time then we're going to record the third track all right I'm actually going to speak into the microphone and record the third track and then we're done with track three. So there's only three tracks to this video. The one thing that we still have to insert that makes it sound very professional is a music background. So you just click on insert and then that music sound file. I go to the file and I pick out the actual musical uh, MP3 that I want to be laid over the entire video sequence, all the slides. Okay, and I'm just going to press OK after I bring the volume down to around 10 or 15 all right that's the most reasonable volume for these background music sets all right so I picked 12 in this case and now I'm all set so okay now I'm going to create an mp4 video by just going to create video okay and once I click on create video and then press on mp4 it's going to send me over to where I want that video to be saved and then I'm going to just press save. So that's it. And as you can see, it's easy this way if you record slide by slide. And if you type out your text slide by slide 
to me, it's actually simpler to do it that way than to struggle trying to import things and get everything lined up and all that kind of thing. I really just like doing the recording and the typing slide by slide, then adding the music, then rendering the whole thing. It's just a beautiful thing. Just one other thing to keep in mind. If you have a problem with the MP4 file actually playing, it probably has to do with the codecs in your particular computer. But this is completely compatible with YouTube. So you just upload it to YouTube and then you could play with the video from there. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed.